Welcome to another Super Deluxe Edition unboxing video. Today we're going to take a look at the 50th anniversary of ABBA's Waterloo. So this is their second album, it's their first international release, their second studio album. Made famous of course because they won the Eurovision Song Contest with the song Waterloo. Now, Waterloo was obviously a, a UK number one hit. It launched the band's career internationally, that is. But interestingly, the al this album only actually got to number 28 in the UK, so it's a bit lower than I expected. Now, even though they're called ABBA for the first time, still got in brackets here, uh, Bjorn, Benny, Agnetta and Frida, just so people don't get confused, because the first record was under that banner. So as usual, uh, we've got the... This is a half-speed master from Abbey Road. Miles Shaw has done the half speed mastering. So it's the usual kind of presentation. Got the OB strip here, Abbey Road, blah, blah, blah. There's a whole suite of products that are coming out. They've all got these little 50 Waterloo stickers on. So that was, on, that was actually on the uh, shrink wrap. I've repurposed it and put it on the back of the OB strip. But it's worth pointing out, this is a two LP set and it's 45 RPM and half speed mastered so everything's split across four sides you've got three tracks on three of the sides and four on the other but despite that they don't actually they haven't bothered updating the artwork so they've kept it as it was originally so it says side A side B doesn't say A B C D front cover looks good gatefold with lyrics inside and then you got two printed inners this is black vinyl with uh, sort of vintage style polar labels. 180 gram black vinyl. And then this is the second record. Bit of a note there written by Carl Magnus Palm, who's uh, the ABBA expert. Now, as usual with this, these anniversary releases, it's all vinyl, which I find a bit disappointing. There's literally so many vinyl formats, but they're not releasing it in any other format. No new CD edition, no Blu-ray, no anything. So that's a little bit disappointing. Now there is a box set edition, as and there's a box set edition with some coloured vinyl, then there's some individual picture disc seven inch releases. I don't have the seven inches, I haven't been sent them. But this box contains the coloured vinyl. So we'll have a look at that. This is nice actually, because it's a sort of reframing of the photo. So it's a much wider crop. But it's also an alternative image. If you look closely, it looks, it's very similar, but not quite the same. It's obviously been taken a few seconds before, a few seconds after. Uh, the colour grading is also slightly different on this. So her outfit here is, is quite blue in colour. Whereas if you look at it on here, it's, it's much lighter and so you know there there are differences but anyway i do like that i do like the uh, the way the cover's been treated uh, there's only three singles in here waterloo the swedish version uh waterloo the english version with watch out on the b side and then honey honey the english version of that with king kong song on the b side as well given uh, watch out and king kong song given that they're both on the album it's not not kind of the best value in terms of uh, yeah, interesting extra tracks, so to speak. These are numbered 2,800 are being made. So mine is 2,127. There's this little sneak peek of what they look like. There's two die cut polar sleeves and then there's a pitch sleeve. So let's open it up and have a quick look. Yeah, so they're quite nice glossy die cut sleeves. Original polar design. White vinyl, this is the Swedish version of Waterloo. Backed with the Swedish version of Honey Honey. This is uh, the English version of Waterloo. And the B-side watch out, which was recorded on the same day as Waterloo. Blue vinyl, both of these are on the 2LP set. And then this is the only one with a proper picture sleeve, Honey Honey, English version, and King Kong song is the B-side, both of which are on the 2LP set. This is red vinyl, as you can see. So that's the box set. Now there is another format which is um, which is kind of unique to this 50th anniversary of Waterloo, and that's a 10-inch single. You can see here, it's got a bespoke label, Waterloo 50, 
And then on this side, we've got Polar die cut. This is like a giant version of the seven inches we looked at before. Now, the reason they've done this is it collects all the different versions of Waterloo. So side A, you've got the Swedish version followed by the English version. And then side B, you've got the German version followed by the French version. So it's all four versions of Waterloo gathered together on one 10 inch single. So it's quite a cute idea. The presentation is nice, except it's let down by this very cheap, scratchy inner sleeve, which is pretty disappointing. But you know, the 10 inch is quite nice. There we go, black 10 inch single. So that's the 10 inch of Waterloo. Now, as I said, there are some seven inch pitch discs which you can buy separately. And uh, there's also a picture disc of the album, which is available D to C, I believe. So I hope you've enjoyed this look at the ABBA Waterloo 50th Anniversary Editions. If you have, why not subscribe to the Super Deluxe Edition YouTube channel for more great physical music unboxed. Keep holding the music in your hands and I'll see you next time.